Hey, 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 yay! It's our last day for Circle Time this week, but I'm so glad you came back and joined me. Let's sing our good morning song so we can get ready for our day. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you and you. Fist bump. Pssh. Oh, it's my favorite time. It's riddle time. Yes, Eduardo, it's riddle time. And we got this book. It's called Early Reader Rhyming Riddles. Wildlife is the theme. Now, each book has a different theme of the type of animals it is. And this is written by E.W. Rhodes. I love the riddles. I hope you were listening the last few days and that you guessed a lot of them. Did anyone get all of them so far? A couple of you. Nice job. Well, let's see what the last few riddles are. I don't live in a house. I live outside. I will offer some clues. Yes, I will confide. I am rather round. I have a coat of quills. When I get angry, I throw them at will. Do you think you know me? Aren't I so fine? Please turn the page. I'm a... Porcupine. Who got that one? That was a hard one, wasn't it? You had to know that the word quills meant those spiky needles, right? I don't live in a house. I live outside. I will offer some clues. Yes, I will confide. My fur is rather thick. My color is light brown. My tail is quite long, but I'm small and round. I love the water. I never wear a hat. Please turn the page. I'm a... Muskrat. Hmm. That's a new animal. I don't live in a house. I live outside. I will offer some clues. Yes, I will confide. I start as a tadpole. When I'm large, I am green. My skin is rubbery with a beautiful sheen. Sometimes in the water, I float on a log. Please turn the page. I'm a... Ribbit, ribbit. Bullfrog. I knew most of you would get that one. Okay, couple more. I don't live in a house. I live outside. I will offer some clues. Yes, I will confide. <coughs> Excuse me. When I was little, they called me a fawn. I stayed with my mother until she grew strong. Guess who I am? Yes, guess with no fear. Please turn the page. I'm a... Oh, I know what this is. We have lots of these in our backyard. Deer. I don't live in a house. I live outside. I will offer some clues. Yes, I will confide. I am a rodent. I love to build dams. My tail is flat and wide like the blade of a fan. If you think you know me, then you're a believer. Please turn the page. I'm a... If you said beaver, you got it right. And here's a picture of all our furry friends from this book. Wasn't that a great book? Well, there's more in this series. See? And I'll put the information in the description down below. Next month, we'll choose one of the other themed books for a different type of animal. They have farmyard animals, sea life, bird life, zoo animals, exotic animals. I can't wait. I love riddles. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Today, yesterday, yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday, that's right. Thursday, we went from the 14th to the 15th, now on to the, the 
That's right, the 16th. Which one of these cards is 16? I'll give you a hint. The number in the ones digit is a six, and that number has a curved bottom. It looks like a circle at the bottom of the number. No straight lines there. That's right, 16. What will tomorrow be in the future? Tomorrow, what do you think tomorrow's gonna be? Now I know we don't normally have circle time on Fridays, but that's okay. We can figure out what tomorrow's gonna be. If today's the 16th, tomorrow we're gonna go, let's see, we're gonna go from six to seven. It's gonna be the, oops, the 17th of the month for tomorrow, but we're not gonna put that in yet. Can't do that today. Let's boogie on down to the let's count area so we can do our activity. I wonder. Well, we just boogied on down here from up there and we know that today is December 16th. What number's in that ones column? You know it, it is a six. So we need how many in our ones area? Of course we need six. So let's make sure we have six here. Let's count what we have so far. One, two, three, four, five. Nice counting. Well, we need one more, don't we, to make six. Would you help me count it in sign language? I know you know these numbers now. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, friends. Circle time center for Thursday. Ooh, I gave it away. All right, well, cat's out of the bag. It is Thursday. We already knew that, right, from our calendar over there. Thursday, remember that starts with T-H, Thursday. You're getting so good at making that sound. Very good for you. Thursday, December, uh-oh, that's the wrong number, isn't it? Today's not the 15th anymore, is it? What's today? Not 15, but, let's see, 14, 15, 16, that's right. Here we go. A one and a six makes 16. So today is Thursday, December 16th, 2021. We still have the letter E. Yesterday you came up with some great E words. Do you have any more E words you can share? Energy bar. I like eating some energy bars. Those are good, especially for a midday snack when your tummy's grumbling. Mm -hmm. What else begins with E? Ebony, mm-hmm, okay, right. What else begins with E? Eduardo, right, the puppet from earlier, yeah, mm-hmm. Those are some great E words. One more, somebody's gotta have an E word. Egg salad sandwich, that's what you're having for lunch? I love those. Awesome. All right. That's a good E word. Well, we had rhyme time. We had fox and b -b -b box. They rhyme fox box. And our color of the month is still green. We have a couple more weeks left with the color green. And what's our shape? That's called a triangle. Why is it called a triangle? The first three letters, T-R-I, the prefix of this word means three. Tri means three, because this has three points and three sides. All right, let's move over here. You know, today wasn't quite as sunny as the other days. Yes, there's some sun peeping in here and there between the clouds. So we're gonna call it a partly cloudy, sunny day, right? And we can keep our same clothing because the temperature really hasn't changed from day to day here. I don't know how it is by you. How is it by you? How's your weather? Oh, I see rain. Somebody says snow. Somebody else is like me on the East Coast. All right. Well, today is not the 15th anymore. It's the 16th. So we need to add a gumball. Let's count by fives first, okay? Five, 10, 15, 
and one more will make 16. What gumball will we get? Do you like orange? That was our color last month, wasn't it? Orange. Mm-hmm. I love the taste of orange gumballs. Let's try that again. 5, 10, 15, 16. Nicely done, friends. See you for our activity. Hi, friends. For our activity today, we're going to do something that begins with the letter E, the long E, and it has to do with math. Now, a long time ago, we had done a math activity based on a story, and one of the symbols looked like this. It's the equals sign. Can you say equal? Yes, equal. Equal means whatever you have on this side equals it's the same as whatever you have on this side. For example, I have a, some snowballs here. Let's count how many I have. One, two, three. I have three snowballs here. If I want to make it equal to what's on this side, how many will I need? Remember, equals means the same amount. So I have three here. If I put one here, does three equal one? Are they the same number? Eh, eh, eh. Three is definitely more than one. How about if I put another one here? Let's count how many I have now. One, two. Is two the same amount as one, two, three? Eh, X, nope. What if I added another one? Let's see. One, two, three. Is that equal to one, two, three? Sure is. They're the same amount. They're exactly the same. Very good. Let's try another way. I'm going to get rid of my snowballs. And I have some letters here. Oh my goodness. I thought we could find some E's in here. Are there any E's? Do you see any? Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. I need to find more E's. Let's see. All right. How many E's do I have here? Two. Oh, I found another one. Three. I found another one. Four. So how many will we need on this side to equal this side? One? Nope. Two? Nope. Three? Nope. Four. So let's see. One, two. I don't know if I have four. <gasps> Three. Am I even now? Am I equal? Do I have the same amount of E's on this side and this side? Let's count again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Mm -mm. How many more do I need on this side to equal this side? That's right, one more. Let me see if I can find another one. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can do it. Uh-oh. I might have a little difficulty here. Oh, look what I found. Are they equal now? Let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Are they equal now? They certainly are. Well, I have something else to share with you. Let me put these away, because we always want to clean up our mess right away. You never want to leave a mess for later, because what happens is if you start playing with one thing, and then you go on to the next thing and leave the first thing out, and you keep doing that time after time and again, by the end of playtime, you're gonna have so much to clean up. But if you clean up each thing as you do it, there's hardly anything left to clean up. Well, I have my exercise dumbbells. Can you see that? What does that say? Right, that's a three. Let's see.
what do we have here? Oh my goodness. Well, what does that say? That says 12. Does this number, does this weight equal this? This is three pounds. This one is 12 pounds. Oh my goodness, that's so much heavier. Are they equal? Are they the same? No, three is much lighter than 12 pounds. Well, what would we need to do to make it equal? We need something a lot lighter than this one, right? I mean, this is only a one digit number and this is a two digit number. You could definitely tell this is much bigger. They are not equal at all. So I would need the same weight. And what weight is this? That's right, it's three pounds. Did that, does that equal now? So does three pounds equal three pounds? It sure does. We're gonna do one more. I think you're really understanding this equals concept. Well, I have my handy dandy bears, and this time I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna grab, whoops. Grab a few bears and dump them out. idea how many I put on each side. Okay, let's count out how many bears we have on each side. Will you count with me? Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, oops, Woo! six, seven. There's seven here. So how many do we need on this side to equal or be the same as seven bears. That's right, we need seven on this side. Do we have seven? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are they equals? Let me just move this a little bit. Are both sides equal? Are they the same? They're not. What's different? Which side has too many? That's right, this side. We said there's nine here. There's only seven here. How do we make seven? Do you know how to count backwards? Let's count down. So I'm gonna take one away. We have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna take one away. So nine, now we have eight. Are they even now? Seven, eight. Nope, we still need to count. Get some away from there. So we go from eight to seven. Nine, eight, seven. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see how many on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are they equal? Are they the same amount on each side? You betcha. Great job. And you can do this with all kinds of materials at your house. Please don't forget to clean up afterwards. Playtime is so much easier if you clean up as you go. Well, thank you for helping me. And thank you for joining in this equals activity. See you next time. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Kids Stories and More. We love when you come and hang out with us. I don't know if you can see me. Hello. Bye-bye. Well, thank you for sharing Kids Stories and More circle time with Mimi today. I love getting together with you every week, and I hope you tune in next week. On Friday, we'll have a fun activity. See you soon. Bye-bye.